So this next example is a little bit more involved, okay? And uh, I'm really going to be trying to like point out hints of things that you should look at as you work your way through the problem. So it starts off looking reasonably straightforward. Um, so we've got this 1x, x cubed, 1y, y cubed, 1z, z cubed. And because you've got the 1s already here, um, what you want to do is get rid of those 1s, OK? Because if you can get 1, 0, 0, it makes finding the determinant a whole lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to subtract row 1 from row 2 and row 3. So I'm going to still have 1x and x cubed in the top row. So the second row is going to be 1 take away 1, so 0, y take away x, and y cubed take away x cubed. And the bottom row is going to be 1 take away 1, so 0, z take away x, and z cubed take away x cubed. Right. Now the next stage, because you've got the y take away x here, the 0 is fine, OK, so I can factor y take away x out of that if I need to, that's fine. The thing is, can I factor out y take away x from y cubed take away x cubed? OK, now your gut instinct might be saying, well, maybe, OK, uh, but I don't know what's going to be left over. So for that, I'm going to have to do a little bit of polynomial division. So you might not be used to doing polynomial division um, when it's just uh, algebra bits like that. OK, so here we go. So I effectively want to divide that by that. So the y take away x I'm going to put in the left hand side. And I want y cubed take away x cubed. So I'm going to need a y cubed. Effectively, what you're putting here is anything that you're going to need to appear. So y cubed there. So that would have to be y squared. So I'm going to get a minus xy squared. Now, I don't have any xy squared, so I'm going to need to add in xy squared. So y is into that go xy. Then xy times minus x is minus x squared y. Now, there aren't any x squared y's, so I'm going to have to get rid of that as well. Then y's into that go x squared. x squared times minus x is minus x cubed. So all of that uh, adds up to the y cubed take away x cubed. So if I divide y cubed take away x cubed by y take away x, I get y squared plus xy plus x squared. OK, so I can write that directly in. 1, 0, 0, x, y take away x, z take away x, then x cubed, and this is going to be y take away x times the y squared plus xy plus x squared. OK, now it's exactly the same algebraic process, just the y has been replaced with z in that bottom row. So I can write that as z take away x, z squared, plus xz plus x squared. OK. Right, so I'm just going to erase that bit of working now. OK. Right, so now I can factor out y take away x and z take away x. OK? So that's what I'm going to do. So we've got one. Oh, no, I've got to factor them out. Right. Let's try that again. There we go. Right. Do what you say. So y take away x and the z take away x. Apologies. Right. So then I've got the 1, 0, 0. I've got the x. I've now got 1 and 1. And I've got the x cubed. And I've got y squared plus xy plus x squared and uh, z squared plus xz plus x squared. OK, so this is looking very good so far and easy to then uh, um, expand. But because we've got the 1 and the 1 there, I can go a little bit further, right? So if I subtract row 2 from row 3, that means I'm going to get this as 0, which makes my life even easier. So I've got the y take away x, z take away x. Don't forget to make sure you're writing down those elements that you've already factored out. Then we've got 1, 0, 0. 
we're going to have x, then 1. So I'm going to do 1 take away 1. I've got the x cubed still. I've got y squared plus xy plus x squared. Then I've got z squared plus xz plus x squared take away those three terms. So the x squared is going to cancel. I'm still going to have the z squared plus xz. But now I'm going to be taking away y squared and xy. Right. Now, at this stage, OK, the only thing we need to consider is this. Does this factorise? OK. Now, when you're uh, dealing with these types of problems, you've kind of got to uh, forward think a bit to what the examiner might be testing you to do, OK? There are quite a lot of the, the questions that get asked. Quite often, there are patterns in the algebra, OK? So notice how we factored out a y take away x and a z take away x. But we haven't factored out uh, a y take away z or a z take away y, OK? Now, that might seem a little bit strange. So I would definitely do a check at this stage to see does z take away y, is that a factor of this, right? So polynomial division, right? So z take away y. So I've got the z squared, and I'd need z there. Z, take, uh, sorry, z times minus y is minus yz, OK? Now, I don't have any yz's there, so I'm going to have to add yz. Z's into that go y. y times minus y is minus y squared, which I need. Now, I haven't completed it yet, OK, because I haven't got any x's appearing. I haven't got that xz appearing yet. So I need an xz to be in there, OK? If that's in there, z times uh, x will make xz. x times minus y makes the minus xy, which I need also. Now, all of the terms that appear there are appearing here. So that means that it factorizes to z take away y times x plus y plus z. Uh, right, let's just put that there. So I've now got y take away x, z take away x, 1x, x cubed, 0, 1, then this y squared plus xy plus x squared. And the reason why I don't really need to worry about that anymore is because if I found the determinant of this, it would just be multiplying with 0 anyway. So I don't need to worry about that. And I've got 0, 0. Now this term, we've got z take away y. And we've got x plus y plus z. OK. So, final answer then, we've got the y minus x, the z take away x. Now, the determinant of this would just be 1 times the determinant of this, which is 1 times this. So, it's just z take away y, x plus y plus z. OK, so there are some points in here where you might be going, well, how am I going to factorise... Um, this z cubed take away x cubed, for example. You've got a spot that maybe the z take away x is going to be a factor. And then you can utilise some polynomial division to help you find um, what the other factor is. And the same down here, it's really spotting, or maybe this can be factorised. Okay? You might think it's a bit too much of a leap of logic to get from there to there. Okay? But... You've got to have a think about the examples that you see. There are quite often patterns with the types of questions that get asked. So it's well worth keeping that in mind.